The Penrith Panthers have performed a Houdini-like effort to defeat the Bulldogs in the final game of Round 25. Without any finals football on the horizon for the Bulldogs fraternity, they flocked out to ANZ Stadium to pay homage to the departing stores in Brett Kamali and Luke Patton. With only a tick over three minutes having lapsed, the general Patton stamped his mark on the match, setting up the opener for Steve Turner. Patton almost threw, flicks it out the back to Steve Turner. Turner to the line, and the Bulldogs score the opener. And it was Noddy Kamali's farewell too, and the ball for Jamal Idris signalled the number one and seven jerseys were going to be very hard ones to fill for 2011. Looking for their second tonight, and Jamal Idris supplies it. So no need for new tricks because the old dogs were on fire. To Andrew Ryan, what a ball from Ben Roberts and the skipper scores. Canterbury's attitude was reflected in their defence, which remained stern for the most part of the first half, and it would take a freak ball from Michael Gordon, which allowed Shandor Earl to pitch one just before the break. Gordon accelerates. Somehow the ball has gone through Brad Tyne to Sandor Earl and the Panthers, they have their first point. That's a fantastic pass by Michael Gordon. And it was a try the Panthers desperately needed with the Bulldogs dominating the first 40, leading 16 points to six. The Panthers looked to get the dream start to the second half, but a knock on from Masada Yusefa was picked up by the video ref. It served as a double whammy, for in the lead-up, Luke Walsh clashed with big Jamal Idris, the ensuing injury taking him out of the match. Despite the absence of their number seven, the show had to go on for the men in black. Travis Burns assumed the role of the pilot. Shandor Earl took to the sky, and Brad Ty claimed the prize. Now to Burns. Well-weighted kick, this one. Balls anyone's. In fact, ball is the Panthers. The video ref giving it the much-needed green light. Burns then rolled out the same play and got the same result. But this one came with a few question marks. Here, Burns. Almost with a replica play of what we've just seen. And Trent Waterhouse, he scores for the Panthers. Well, I tell you what, he's blowing that... He's blown the try. I'd like to, I would have gone the video. Michael Gordon's kick claimed the lead. Then all of a sudden, things got a little ugly for the Panthers. Oh, Frankie, and he loses it. A Penrith discretion moments later gave Bryson Goodwin a penalty shot to level the scores. And then Penrith would be reduced to 12 men. Around the oh, what? You understand it's your shoulder, but it's come up, mate. Oh. Travis Burns tried to break the deadlock. Oh, it wasn't his see. best. Just nah, sliced wasn't it. his best. And with one play remaining, the stage was set for Brett Kamali to have a shot at glory. He strikes it. It is played away. Luke Lewis now in open space. He finds Michael Jennings. And the Penrith Panthers record an amazing victory. The fairy tale wasn't to be. The Panthers escaping from jail with a 24 points to 18 victory. Joel Kane, Big Pond Sport.